レベルジグアンティックギアカオスジャイアントThe video starts about 96% of you guys are not subscribed. Subscribing and clicking that notification bell does help me out and a lot in doing what I really want to do. Thank you guys so much for all the support. What is going on, guys? Rogue TCG here bringing you another TCG deck profile. This isn't quite TCG, this is soon going to be TCG. This is Ancient Gear uh, Infinitrack. Um, this deck took a lot out of me, to be honest. I'm going to be quite frank. Uh, this deck did take a lot out of me. Um, well, here it is. Um, Ancient Gear Infinite Track. I'm going to get over my thoughts at the very end of the profile, so stay tuned for those. But let's get in for the uh, card by card. First, for our one ofs, we are one Therion King Regulus. It's searchable in two different methods. One, Redox Dragon Ruler of Boulders. This is an Earth deck. Everything in here is Earth except for Ash Blossom, so we're playing Redox. One Harvester, one Tunneler, and one Brutal Dozer, as well as a Trencher. These are our one of Infinitracks. These are searchable, they're easily searchable. And then lastly, our triple Infinitrack Anchor Drill. The main issue I found with this deck is putting monsters on field. Uh, a lot of the cards in Ancient Gear, like Wyvern, just search, searches a card, but then prevents you from setting cards for the rest of the turn and stuff. So we need ways to be able to get additional bodies on field off of the very few special summons from hand that we are uh, given. So basing on the anchor drill and also for the uh, level modulation in order to easier make um, Sargas in order to go to Regulus is very powerful. Now that's it for our infinite tracks. Now onto our ancient gears. We are in one ancient gear golem to ancient uh, gear dark golem uh off of which we are actually going to be normal or special summoning this we can summon this off of our infinite track anchor drill, drill as well to get its effect which is another reason to play it when it's normal or special you get us uh you can't set cards for the rest of the turn they can add two ancient gear cards or gear town from your deck to your hand and then you have to discard a card uh but this card is very powerful we wanted to try and make sure this remains on our board throughout our combo especially if we're going to get our trap because it says Ancient Gear on Field and in Grave. Uh, but that's it for that card. Now onto Triple Ancient Gear Wyvern. If it's normal or special, you can add an Ancient Gear card from your deck to your hand, except for itself. And then you can't set cards for the rest of the turn. And you can only use Wyvern once per turn. And if it attacks, they can't activate monster effects. Three Ancient Gear Tanker, one of the new ones. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can special summon one Ancient Gear monster from your hand, except Tanker, ignoring the summoning conditions. Or if your opponent controls the monster, you can special summon it from your grave instead. You can target one face of monster you control, destroy it, and if you do for the rest of the turn, all monsters you control that are Ancient Gear Golem or mention it will gain 600 attack. Uh, you can only use each effective tanker once per turn. You're not really going to be using that second effect um, to be destroying your own cards unless it's going to be our Gear Town when we're going second. However, uh, the tanker just being able to get an extra body out from hand and it's being a level 4 machine is just generally good enough. So we're playing 3 of it. One Ancient Gear box in order to be searching this off of all of our searchers. Uh, one, uh, sorry, not one. Three Ancient Gear Commander. Uh, when it's on field at ignition, you can send it a normal Ancient Gear Golem from your hand deck or monster zone to the grave to get an additional normal summon an Ancient Gear. And then if you normal summon an Ancient Gear Golem, you can special summon uh, an Ancient Gear Golem from your hand or grave, ignoring its summoning conditions. You can banish this from your graveyard to place this continuous trap from your hand onto the field. So it does get around that not being able to set thing. And then lastly, for monsters, we are on Triple Ash Blossom. That's it for our monsters. Now onto our spell traps. Remaining one Ancient Gear Fusion. To fusion summon an Ancient Gear monster uh, using a monster from your hand or field of material. And if you use an Ancient Gear Golem or Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound, you control this fusion material. You can also use stuff from your grave. Triple Ancient Gear Advance, the new one. When this card's activated, you can add one Ancient Gear Spell Trap from your deck to your hand, except for Advance, and once per turn, you can tribute one monster, draw one card, and if you do for the rest of the turn, you can normal summon level five or higher monsters that are Ancient Gear Golem with it, or, or mention it without tributing. You only activate one Ancient Gear Advance once per turn. One Foolish Burial in order to send our Redox or an Ancient Gear Golem or whatever we need to be sending to the grave. 
double link into the brains a lot of the times we do sometimes get stuck with one body on board especially when we get interacted with on that body so link into the brains can special summon a machine from our hand in order to go to platinum gadget ancient gear ballista or sp little knight whichever serves our cause for the best we are on one book of moon sure we can't set it but this is an interactive piece that we can use when we're going second as well as using when we're going first in order to blank infinite impermanences and effect failures Double urgent schedule. We don't know if we're going first or second with this first um, deck list right here. So ur double urgent schedule can mean we can actually um, just activate it if we're going second. And then it's a brick that we can discard off of Ancient Gear Dark Golem when we're going first. And then we are on heavy forward. We're on three of it. When it's activated, you can add an infinite track monster from your deck to your hand. And once we're turning your target a machine, X use your control and activate its effect to change the battle position or attach this card to it as material. Uh, so this card is quite powerful. It lets us access any of our infinite tracks, but more often than not, we're just going to be grabbing Dozer with it. And lastly, one Ancient Gear Duel. Monsters your opponent control, uh, monsters you control that are Ancient Gear Golem or mention it are unaffected by your opponent's activated monster effects. If your opponent controls a monster, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that mentions Ancient Gear Golem by banishing its materials from your field and or graveyard include Ancient Gear Golem you control. And if you do, you can make three attacks during each battle phase, and you can only use this effect once per turn. Very, very powerful card. That's why I mentioned you want to keep Ancient Gear Dark Golem on field or Honorable Ancient Gear Golem because this is going to be our main thing we're going to be fusing during our opponent's turn. That's going to be it for the main deck. A nice clean 40. Um, now going to be on to the extra. Sorry for interrupting. I have an announcement. This Sunday, January 27th at 5 p.m. will be my first stream on YouTube. So please come by and say hi. I'll build any deck that viewers suggest in a deck building stream. So if you have a deck you want to see built, stop on by that's all now back to the video all right now with the extra we are on two ancient gear ballista needs two earth machines if it's link summoned you can add an ancient gear monster or gear town from your deck to your hand you can target a spell or trap you control and one face up monster your opponent controls destroy that card and if you do change the attack and defense to zero of the other one you can only use that once per turn very powerful card to pop your gear town when you're going second and such but it doesn't really have too, too much use for us going first. Uh, it, again, can add any Ancient Gear monster, which is very relevant, especially off of a Link monster. So we are going to be running it. Uh, we are on one SP Little Knight, just needs two effect monsters. Um, it's just an overall very powerful card. And I think if you're playing Into the Reigns, you kind of have to be playing in SP Little Knight, in my opinion. Uh, one Platinum Gadget needs two Machine Monsters. It can't be used as Link Material to turn its Link Summon, which is unfortunate, but that's fine. During your main phase, you can't Special Summon level 4 or lower Machines from your hand to your zone up. You can Special Summon a level 4 or lower Machine from your hand to the zone it points to. And if this card is destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, you can Special Summon one, a level 4 Gadget from your deck. We don't have any level 4 Gadgets, but it's just functioning as a way to get a monster out of our hand from our extra. Now into XEs. We're on one Merry Makers to make our Sargas. One Gear Gigant X in order to search cards. One River Storner again to search cards. One Cap, uh, giant, uh, Gigantic Cap Champion Sargas again to search cards. One uh, uh, Star Slayer Typhon Sky Crisis uh, not to search cards. This is just a piece that we're going second and it fits our situation. One Zeus. Uh, we have enough XCs in order to comfortably play Zeus. Um, this is just kind of a spot filler. If there's another card, you could, of course, cut the uh, Sky Crisis and Sky Thunder. Now onto our Ancient Gears. One Howitzer, one Megaton. Howitzer being uh, unaffected. Uh, Howitzer being unaffected by other cards, period. So this card can just sometimes be a, a house and force your opponent to go to combat to clean it up. One Ancient Gear Megaton Golem. It needs three Ancient Gear monsters. If it attacks, your opponent can't activate spell trap cards until the end of the damage step. It was fusion summoned using two or more Ancient Gear Golems or Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound as material. You can attack that many times during each battle phase, so not really relevant given that we have this one that's gone back to the of the three. And then, um, if this uh, fusion summon card in its owner's control leaves the field because of its opponent's card effect, you can special summon one Ultimate Ancient Gear. Golem from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Speaking of, we're running two ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, one to be able to cheat out and one to be able to hard make. You use an Ancient Gear Golem and two Ancient Gear Monsters. Uh, must be fusion summoned if this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage, uh, pairing up very well with our Ancient Gear Duel, 
a 4400 attack monster that can attack three times dealing piercing damage that's a recipe to kill your opponent if anything um if this card attacks your opponent can't activate spell trap cards until the end of the damage step if this card is destroyed you can target one ancient gear golem in your grave special summon it ignoring its summoning conditions and lastly ancient uh, chaos ancient gear giant four ancient gear monsters must be fused and summoning can't be special summoned other ways unaffected by spell trap effects and your opponent, mo opponent's monsters can't activate their effects during the battle phase this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each if this card attacks the vent position monster inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent just a bigger version of ultimate ancient gear golem a little bit more uh, expensive in the material uh, um department however now ultimate ancient gear golem is just chaos ancient gear giant uh mini due to ancient gear duel that's it for the main and extra now onto the side for the side i really want to build a blind second ancient gear deck however i wouldn't just do that to y'all so i put all the blind second cards in the side deck for our blind second tools double pack your tops it's an earth another ancient gear fusion in order to just fuse even more one harpy's feather duster two lightning store with triple raigeki the third into the brains the third emerge, uh, urgent schedule triple ancient gear fortress a very powerful card that we're not playing going first during the turn they were normal or special summon your opponent can't target ancient gear monsters you control with card effects and they can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effects your opponent can't activate cards or effects in response to the activation of ancient gear cards and effects if this card is destroyed in the spell trap comes out, you can special summon one ancient gear monster from your hand or grave. And you can't special summon a monster to the rest of the turn except ancient gears. This one is a hard lock on it into ancient gears. However, it's only on the destruction effect. It does prevent our stuff from inter being interacted with, which is the main reason we are playing it, especially when we're going second. Then lastly, we're on one gear town in order to search off of our ballista or our dark golem in order to just pop it to get more advantage. All right, guys, so that was the list. Now let's go over my general thoughts. Um, this list is not very powerful. I'm going to be completely frank. It's not very strong. There are other ancient gear cards. Like, let me pull it up. So we do have ancient gear catapult here. I'm going to read it. While you control no monsters, target a face-up card you control. Destroy it, and if you do, special summon an ancient gear monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. You banish this from your grave, target another face-up card, and then pop it, and then you get a level one token. Um, and then it's a, that's a hard once per turn, uh, so you can only use one effect um, per turn. But this card is a very powerful card, and it's definitely what they were going with when they were printing Ancient Gear Advance. Uh, that's why, like, it's even on the picture and everything. The thing is, we're not running enough face-up cards in order to be able to pop this. This is a card that's completely dead in our deck when we're going, like, first, uh, unless we open Advance. Because if we just open a hand of like catapult and with no advance, we can't normal summon any monsters to pop it. This is just a completely dead card. Like I am not a huge fan of catapult. I think it really goes against like what the deck is supposed to do. Especially like, look at all these monsters. Look at how many monsters we're playing in the monster mash deck, and they want us to play a, a card that relies on you having a field spell. Even if you search the field spell with ballista or with dark golem. You can't activate catapult you have a monster on your field i don't think it fundamentally works with how they want like how they are designing the ancient gears but yet they print a card to support it i'm not a fan of catapult however there probably are some wild and way better combos you can do with catapult but it just really i think brings down the consistency of the deck quite a bit so i don't really want to be playing that uh so that's just my two cents on catapult now onto the overall deck um the ancient gear stuff does not really provide any meaningful interaction points when going first against your opponent at all. Even if you put out um, your ultimate ancient gear or your megaton golem using your ancient gear duel, which is only sometimes going to be happening just because this is a very difficult card in order to like really resolve because you need to have an ancient gear golem on your field, which isn't the easiest thing to do. Um, I don't think there's any one card combos, at least that I know, to get to like megaton plus this plus anything else that's relevant um but like in the end all the ancient gears end up accomplishing which they do a pretty good job at to be honest is being a rank four engine for earth machine being able to get you merrymaker gigant and then with uh the anchor drill you can target any other level four to turn them both into eights to hard make sargas you can also make ding gearsu that's another card you can definitely put in here now 
Um, some of the cards don't lock you, um, except for Brutal Dozer. Brutal Dozer and uh, the Fortress are the only cards that lock you. So until you go to Brutal Dozer, Brutal Dozer, god damn, uh, you are not locked. Um, but those are all just overall my thoughts. I think this is a very fun, like, rogue, like, not even rogue, like a very casualish deck. However, it can win games. Like this, this deck can win games, especially if you choose to go the blind second. I think that's probably the more powerful route this deck can go. Just actually leaning on the ancient gear play style and just because if you run like fortress and stuff, you run the three fortress and then the three advanced, the three forward, and then the one gear town. Then play your catapult, right? Because that's enough face up spe like continuous spells or field spells. But if you're running this list right here, you don't. I don't think you run the catapult at all. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you still are, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Thank y'all so much for watching the video, it really means a lot. If you want to talk to other Yu-Gi-Oh players in a competitive manner, please feel free to check out my Discord. We are still growing, but we would love to have you, and we plan to do some events sometime soon. You will also be able to do cool stuff like vote on future videos and topics of videos, so swing by sometime and check us out. I also started a Patreon, so that will be linked in the description of my videos from now on. Donating would mean a lot, and would help in producing these videos. Right now, there's only one tier being Tier 1 Femboy. This tier includes access to an exclusive Discord channel where you'll be able to talk amongst other Femboys and have access to discussions with me as well, as well as getting a shout out in every video following at your patronage. Thank you so much for all your support.